Okie dokie. So in this problem, we have a little bit more complicated of a, uh, an expression here, but we're going to essentially just rewrite this a couple times until we work our way down to the correct answer. So we start with this term here. We have the cube root of x raised to the fourth power. So everything's being raised to the fourth. So I'm going to start with the cube root of x, which is rewritten as x to the one third. And all that's being raised to the fourth. So that 3 is the 1 third, and that 4 is that 4. Okay, so, so far so good. The next step is we have, I'm going to erase some of this we got going on here so we can see. Um, we have the 4th root of x all raised to the 4th. So similarly, we have x to the 1 4th raised to the 4th. Okay, I'm going to erase these arrows. They're a little in the way here. Okay, so... That's the whole numerator. The denominator, likewise, is x to the 1 ninth, since it's the ninth root, and that is squared. Okay, so next step I'm going to do is multiply these numbers that are next to one another. Whenever they're on the same level, as in these, uh, you know, 1 third and 4, we can multiply those values together. 1 third times 4 is 4 thirds. 1 fourth times 4 is 1, or 4 fourths, or just 1. So we have x to the 1. On the denominator, we have x to the 1 ninth squared. So we have x to the 2 ninths. 2 times 1 ninth is 2 ninths. So now you want to combine any terms in the numerator and denominator. So numerator, we have x to the 4 thirds times x to the first. When we have x to the a, times x to the b, what we do is add those exponents, x to the a plus b. So in this case, we have x to the 4 thirds plus 1. And we'll work that out in just a sec. We still have x to the 2 ninths on the bottom. We have x to the 4 thirds plus 1, which is what we can do is add 3 over 3 instead of adding 1. 4 thirds plus 3 thirds is 7 thirds. And then we still have two ninths on the bottom. Wow, okay. So I'm going to wrap this guy around here so we're not getting lost. So we have x to the, what, seven thirds over two ninths. Okay, seven thirds over x to the two over nine. So now when we have x to the a over x to the b, what we do is x to the a minus b. So that's a big rule, and that's a big rule. So we have our division and subtraction rule, and then we have our multiplication and addition rule. So from here, we get x to the 7 thirds minus 2 ninths. Wow, that's a fun fraction there. But all we need is a common denominator. We have 7 thirds, which we can multiply both values by 3. To get 21, 7 times 3 is 21, 3 times 3 is 9, minus 2 ninths, leave that the same. They both have 9 in the denominator, so we subtract the numerators. We get 21 minus 2 is 19, denominator remains the same, and we are hopefully finished. That's looking like option C. Bring out the eraser, and we find out that C is the correct answer.